Retro Rock plays everything. Rob here, and welcome to XD Live, where every week I show you another game for the glorious GPD XD, which is that little handheld Android gaming device that I'm showing right here. If you don't have a GPD XD, don't worry, as long as you have an Android device and an Xbox joystick, you can play along. Xbox 360 joystick, you can play along. All right, so what do we got this week? Well, we've got Hyper Wave by Catfish Blues. It is a fun game. I like a lot of Catfish Blues stuff. I'm going to be showing those in the next, I don't know, few days. I'm going to be doing some more Catfish Blues stuff. And then I am going to be showing you folks how to install Legacy ROM, which has been a really highly requested video. So I'll do that live or at least online. And uh, it'll probably wipe this out. So I want to get these done before it's wiped out. Anyway. Hyperwave is a basic shoot 'em up. However, with a twist, it is a dual stick. However, it's not like you think. It's more like Space Invaders if it was a dual stick game or Galaxian. Well, I'll show you. Anyway, it's got a really interesting soundtrack, which unfortunately I'm not going to play here for uh, YouTube copyright issues. As far as configuration goes, there's nothing you need to set. It starts out in high uh, high resolution mode. You can keep it that way. I'm sorry, high. Uh, high special effects mode and you can keep it that way there's only a couple things i really need to show you to make you happier with the game and one of them is just to remember how to do the how oh, darn it how to do the menu and yeah here we go number one if it's purple it's selected so there you see that how it's splashing purple to start let's start I'm going to go into stage two just because it has some interesting stuff on it. I'm going to play about two, three levels and see how it goes. I'm not going to play as well because I'm talking. And this game does require focus. However, it uses both sticks. So my right stick right now is aiming my shots. And my left stick, this is the analog stick, is doing the movement of my ship. Now, there are pickups everywhere. Get them, for God's sake, you need them. And another thing, not only does your, oh, and I'm messing up, not only does your ship need to avoid being hit, but if the invaders do drop down, they will do damage to your shield down at the bottom. See that 85%? Man, that's my shield level. And if it reaches zero, game over, kids, game over. That is really the point of the game. However, it's just done really well. And I don't think I've seen this control scheme before. Except years ago on the Apple II, there was a game kind of similar to it, but your character couldn't move. I'm trying to remember the name of it. But anyway, you're a cannon at the bottom, and you could you could move the uh, the cannon's uh, the cannon's barrel and shoot things. That's all I remember. That's even kind of like this. Pretty cool. All right. So here's one of the things to note. If this little branch down at the bottom, I wish I could point at the screen for you. This thing that I have highlighted in pink right now, if it is pink, you're going to go back to the main menu and you're going to lose your progress so far. And that is, that is painful because it can be very hard to get to the end of each stage and you want to get to the end of each stage. Otherwise, you'll have to start the whole stage over again, which is pretty long for a portable game. Anyway. It, I kept doing it all the time and didn't realize what I was doing, what was going wrong. Anyway, you note that, you'll be okay. Again, invaders should not hit the bottom. You should try and pick up everything. And I am failing the heck out of this. It's not good. I just missed it. Like these boomerangs, by the way, uh, they do stack. So try to pick up multiples of the same thing. Always go for the shield. Oh, I'm dead. I'm going to be dead here. Always go for the shield. I wanted to make it a little bit further though. But anyway, I will make it three levels. Yay. Who rank D. That is probably the worst rank I've ever got. Again, I can't talk and play. I would be like the worst streamer on earth. And I, I know I've done streams. Uh, but most of them were of like technical things where I could talk while I was going. I guess I did play a few games and I sucked every time. I'm not that great of a game player anyway. Anyway, keep going.
Oh. And that's it. My wave failed. By the way, you can only upgrade past the second level, which kind of sucks. And this will bring me to the main menu. Uh, I can also continue. You get one continue. This game needs more continues. And it's not letting me. There we go. Continue. Maybe one more if I can get it, because it will show you the missiles. I love the missiles. Yeah, again, uh, the B, by the way, is your bulking cannon. That's your main cannon. You do want to upgrade that if possible. And I must have forgot to reboot the system uh, after I connected to HDMI. Another note, if you're getting lag on HDMI, a good way to uh, resolve that... I can't speak English. A good way to resolve that is to... <laughs> rank D again! Attention deficit! Ah! Uh, a great way to handle that is to turn off your system and start it again with HDMI connected, and that should resolve your lag, which I am getting right here. I thought I had done that. Before. That's okay. These guys right here, uh, because they take a whole lot of fire. These little round guys right here. Oh man, dead. All right, wave failed. Whoo! Really, really bad round for me on Hyperwave, but it's a really fun game and a game that plays very well on the GPD XD. So you should definitely check it out. The link is down below. Again, it's only two bucks. Come on. Uh, easy choice. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more XD videos, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. See you next time! Retro Rocks Gaming Videos